Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're diving back into some more better Minecraft. I am on a hunt, a hunt for these guys right here. I know they're my friend. They're supposed to be my friend, but I need these. I need these tarantula hawk wings. And well, these guys are gonna offer them to me, whether they like it or not. And uh, sometimes I'm, uh, that one I just got earlier, I ended up getting four of them off of one. So I have a, a feeling that this won't take as long as I initially thought, by the way, this is what happens. You get de <laughs> the debilitating sting and it is awful. It is just tick damage. Oh, it's it's bad. But yeah, I'm going to be wandering around this area. I want to see what this tarantula hawk wing actually looks like. And like, what is this all about? Like, why would I want to put the tarantula hawk wings on my elytra? Does it make it any better? Like, what are the, the benefits of doing that? Like, is it worth doing? Because anything to make flight better I think is going to be well, well worth the time invested into it. Um, but the only unfortunate thing is I just don't know exactly what the wings do. So at this point, I have all the stuff I need to make these wings. So individual, we're going to take these two. And then I'm going to grab a spare elytra that I have. And we just combine this with the elytra. I think it you know, does have a shaped crafting recipe. So it has to go in here, in the middle, wing here and wing here. And then we get the tarantula hawk wings. Now I'm not quite sure how these differ from these wings. Oh, nor, nor can they go in the backpack slot, but they do look a lot different. Don't mind the, uh, the Optifine cape, <laughs> but I mean, are they better? You know what? They, they feel just like normal elytra wings. <laughs> just like normal elytra wings. However, I don't know if the durability is like much higher. I could easily check that too. F3 and H. And we see it's 800 durability, which is much higher than the 400 and uh, 32, which is on normal elytra. So that is the benefit, I guess. Much higher durability on your elytra. The only downside is, is the mod that supports it going in your backpack slot. Uh, it, yeah, it's uh, a little borked there. You know, they will, however, look pretty good on an armor stand. Just kind of, you know, chip them there. Hopefully we don't ever have a fire incident again where we lose all of our stuff. But yeah, I mean, I, I know I spent the time to, to get it and we, we're not really going to use it, but at least I know in the future what that actually does. So enough of Alex's mobs today. Let's go ahead and jump back into this because I did want to explore a little bit more, right? Um, and then I read this, of course, incredibly wrong last time. This is the Monastery Explorer map. And uh, we're gonna be taking a look at this because I'm kind of interested in what the monastery is. These are buildings that I have yet to explore. I don't think I've seen a monastery. And then we also have the Buried Dungeon map, which I'm not too sure if we can get to that. We'll definitely get to that today as well. Um, so. I'm going to have to go south again, it looks like. Um, but we're going to be going southwest. We're going to be going basically the opposite of where we went last time. Um, so not too difficult there. And uh, I could probably use my waystone to see if we're rather close to that location. Instead of traveling all that far, we can just go the opposite direction and uh, see how close we are. So this was the last spot we went to was the jungle. How close? Ooh, so we're actually too far now too far because as you can see it swap positions the little dot in the bottom right hand corner of the map so with that in mind we need to go north and uh we're also gonna need to go north west it looks like so we're gonna be taking a trip somewhere over here so let's 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 make a journey this way might as well, and we'll also be opening and discovering new areas while we're doing this. So at this point, we have made the turn, so now we can take a look at our map, and we are heading off in this direction. I don't, like I said, I don't know exactly 
how far away we are. Kind of the downside of these maps. Oh, look at the whales. These are different whales than the last time we've seen. But yeah, so it, it could be, I mean, we could we could be traveling all the way over here for all I know. I, I have no idea. Um, but it's all about the journey, right? All about the journey and the things that we find on our way. Speaking of finding things on our way, look how pretty this biome is. It's like a mushroom village. Is this actually one of the villages, but they're the, the mushroom one, but they're set up nice? Oh my gosh. Oh, you're... Oh, you're not my friend. Oh. Well, that's not very nice. I just wanted to say hi. Look at all the heads, though. All these custom heads. Yeah, do you... I mean, if I attack you, I'm sure all of them are <laughs> coming out of the woodworks because they're actually just piglins, apparently. Piglins disguised as... Mooshrooms. Huh. What all they got in here? I mean, just honey honeycombs, though. Man. I needed honeycombs, and apparently they got added to the loot pool, it seems like. Because, my goodness. The sheer amount of honeycombs. It's just ridiculous. And is there, like, honey blocks down here? There's a hive. Interesting. See what I mean? All the, all the cool things that we find along our way. That's a lodestone. Uh, excuse me, I will take that. That costs netherite to make. They just got lodestones just chilling up here. What? Look at the slime head. What is that? Is that like a reference to something? Just chilling. Oh my gosh, they got all the cool little heads. Oh my goodness. This just dropped and there's another one right there. These are piglin brutes that are spawning here. And do you know what that means? Like, I don't even think you know what that means. These are piglin brutes. This is just infinite tra- Oh my gosh, the mogul tr trades. This is just an infinite amount of them. Like, this is what we use to trade or, or enact the trade. This thing right here. I mean, literally, gift- Oh my gosh. And it just spawns. That's not powerful at all. Wow. Okay. I'll take more of them. Like, that's how we're going to get more netherite down the road. Here we are. We're discovering new areas on this map. We finally made it. It has been quite a journey. Like, we started all the way over here. I have now crossed all of this land. I hope this is worth it. <laughs> I hope it's worth it. If not, we have another map, of course, to look for or look forward to. Oh, my. Oh, this is that. Okay. We've already seen one of these. We've, we've literally been to one of these. We have literally been to one of these. You know, is this meant to go underground here? Because this is like a lot of... It, no, no, it's not. Okay. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I guess we can go through. You know, one thing that is quite expensive here is all this prismarine, uh, all that dark prismarine that's up there. But man, like I said, if you were to stumble upon this thing early on, I said this last time. This would be crazy, right? To have, like, this could be your base early on. But then again, you would never get the satisfaction of building your own cool stuff. I mean, there's literally nothing in the chest for me to take, but there is still a lot of stuff. Like, I'm actually, I don't have a librarian hat. I'm, I am still collecting all of the, uh, the villager tools items. Um, I don't know if, if I'll ever use them. I don't know if I'll have, ever have a use for them. But yeah, like this, I mean... This would be definitely a good place to get started. There's already villagers here, so like villager breeding wouldn't be a problem at all. I mean, it's almost like this would be kind of powerful early on, to be honest. There's a cleric right away. So getting ender pearls, I mean, this finding this structure would be definitely how you'd want to speed run this pack for sure. Wither roses. I will take that. Also, there's an infested temple explorer map. I don't no, I'll take it, but I don't infested temple. I'm trying to put picture that in my head. Temple that's if have we been to one? I think we might have. Hmm. What is this? Hold up a minute. On my way back. Oh, this is just floating. It's, it's literally just floating. Okay. Wow. Uh, I mean, the sheer size of this. I mean, first of all. 
Super creeps. Uh, does that mean there's gonna be a lot of creepers in here? I don't want to deal with creepers. Please tell me there's not a bunch of creepers that's gonna spawn in this thing. First of all, how do we even get in here? This is quartz blocks. What are you? That's a dinner bone. Is that a spider? What is, what even is that? It's just a spider head. It said dinner bone, whatever that was. So whatever it was, I guess it was meant to be upside down. Oh, these are wither skeletons. Okay. Question though, do they drop heads? That would be really nice. Cause that's one boss we actually haven't fought. Believe it or not, is a, uh, a wither. Yeah, this, this place is, uh, packed with spider. And that's a spider riding a spider, which is really gross. Not a big fan of that. Oh, no, it's a bait. It's a spider with a poisonous spider on its back. Dang, and they have a lot of health, too. I mean, this, this takes them out. Like, this sword is crazy powerful for things like this. Because it does 20 damage, it's only a three swipe. All right, let's break that. Let's, uh, let's explore. Do this all is to offer. Lots of pistons. Coal. We got this guy. What does the chest have in here? I don't even think we're touching, like, the, uh, the main part of this. That'd probably be the upper, upper area. Okay. I'm just kind of taking a look at the loot and all the building materials. There's note blocks. There's an enchanting table in here. I mean, just getting through this main level. That's a lot of stuff. Like right off the bat. Let's go up. Let's go upstairs and see what's up here. Okay. There are a few things. Guess it's wanting us to use an ax to get up here. You know, I'm going to go from the outside. I'm going to go or I'm going to fly up to the very top. And I'm going to see what the top area looks like. Because it seems like just like every other structure we've sort of been to. What is this upstairs going to be like? Because usually the, the few I was, I've, you know, played with before, they had a bunch of stuff up here. Okay. Like, a, there's like a battle arena. This is kind of cool. For these wither skeletons. That honestly can't do a thing. They're not dropping skulls, though. I'm just opening these as, as if they're not trapped. Wow, there's a lot of loot, though. Lots of loot. Look at all these chests. I'm just wondering if a head will drop, because I really actually need them. I mean, this is like high-level building right here. Look at that roof structure. Oh man, that's beautiful looking. That's stuff that I could only hope to be able to build. Like, of course, building in creative mode, like this is definitely stuff that would be possible. But man, doing this stuff in survival, that's that's where the magic happens. All right, let's get out of here. Let's fly our way out. Pretty cool. Like for a building that we weren't really looking for, we just happened to stumble upon it. So here we are, we have an X that marks the spot and apparently this is where there is a buried dungeon. Um, yeah, is this, like where is this gonna lead me to? Underwater here? And then right here it says there's something? So, I don't know if this works anything like any of the other buried treasure, but um, on our map we do have a way of seeing our, uh, or at least normally we have a way of seeing our chunk coordinates. However, I'm not really seeing my chunk coordinates here. Okay, I, I see it. Relative chunk. So usually you go to 9-9. Nine, nine, and that will... Right here. And then right down, directly down here, should be... Something. Let's see. Do we have a shovel in here? I don't know exactly if this is just going to take us to a chest. Okay. Okay, so I don't think it's taking us directly to a chest. However, this is taking us to definitely something that is potentially underground. I just wonder how deep underground this actually is. 
I guess I'll, I better start digging. Well, I think I have found it. I did get a message that says, uh, it said buried underground. Is this the dungeon? Gotta be. Okay, so we got some stuffs. Oh, there's a snowy temple map. It seems like everything's leading me to another, another area. Uh, power three. I mean, I, this feels like it's been broken up. Oh man, it's definitely been broken up. But no, this is definitely an underground dungeon area. 100%. Yeah, there's a dragon egg. Just letting these guys hit me. They don't even... It, it's crazy at this point. Like, just really don't take any damage. Hey, look. There's a court monster spawner. I don't think I've seen one of those yet. Those are actually really nice because, like, unlike normal spawners, when they activate, the mobs that spawn from them actually hold items that are pretty nice. Like, they can hold blocks of anything. Like, look at this. Glowstone. Ooh, we just got a witch hat. They can hold all kinds of weird stuff, like iron ore and, like, for example, this. They have, like, cobweb. Here's iron. Look at that. So I'm guessing this isn't really meant to be a very big dungeon. Like, it just kind of does this thing. But look what we found. <laughs> look what's attached to this. This is, I mean, nice. Yeah, this is a, uh, I don't know, it's a jungle version? Yes, yeah, a jungle version of an abandoned mine shaft. Get out of here. Look at this. What? If we found some rail carts, that'd be kind of nice. I mean, I'm not, I don't really need all the loot from it. Like name tags are nice, but I think we have like 30 something name tags. Oh wait, is this a Young's Better Caves or Better Dungeons? I think this has led me into that, right? This is what that looks like. Normally, normally they're not this big. Don't knock me, don't you do it. We're both stuck in the cobwebs. Yeah, usually there's chests down here. I don't see any, so maybe not. Well, this may be added on from that. Yeah, because this doesn't seem to lead to anywhere. Oh no, never mind. This is 100% part of that mod. Yeah, because this, this right here is added to it. Yeah, and there's coal in there already. Look at that, we can light the area up. Yeah, that's 100% uh, part of that mod. Get out of here. All right, let's see. Are we going to find anything down any of these hallways? Because usually there's like a, a higher chance. It just sort of ends over here. But this was like another area. I mean, it's all kind of been jumbled together with all the other structure generation stuff. But man, this really makes for a, an interesting underground experience. Like, I'm really looking forward to 118. And like, uh, just, just, you know, as you're mining, you stumble upon these really cool structures. Like, that's, that's what I'm interested in. I mean, just, just look at some of the, I mean, what am I even looking at? This is beautiful. The stuff that we find, like, just as we're randomly exploring. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Get rid of this guy. Like, what is this? Is this a... Okay, look at all that prismarine, though. This isn't even under... Oh, this is underwater, but like... What? I think the, the main thing I'm interested in is just walking over here, just looking at the sheer size. Man, I have been in into I've been to caves and stuff like uh the done tours and it is like this like not with the plants and stuff but it is just I don't know it, you get this feeling it's just almost overwhelming because you realize how deep underground you are and how massive everything is around you like it really puts things into perspective so I am just minding my own business and look what I found Oh my gosh, just a little spin-off here. Yeah, uh, this is actually a quest boss that we need to take down. This right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, the Rod Knot. I believe that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> oh, this guy is super cool. Okay, let's hope that like this, this thing being here doesn't affect it though. Okay, we need to avoid it. Oh, okay. I know how to fight this guy, though, which is kind of awesome. So you, you do want to use your pickaxe, I believe. But you want to avoid them as best you can. Those attacks you can't really avoid too well. Let's knock these things down. 
They're going to kind of get in our way. All right. Let's see if we can get them to swing at us. I don't want that. Swing at me. Come at me, bro. There we go. And you notice he's got a sword in his back. This right here. He'll get it stuck. Boom. Boom. Oh, we get him again. Right in the back. This boss. Okay, so I, it took me a while when I first like learned about this guy it took me a while to figure out how he actually works you know after a while it's not super hard i don't know if we can use a sword or not on his back i really love the weapon that you get from this stuff like i i wish this was like my first time fighting this guy but it's not and he swings okay watch this oh it's so cool the animations are perfect for this boss i mean if you can call him a boss it's like a mini boss. Hit me, bro. Come at me. No, not that one. I do like that move though. And yeah, if you're if you're not really armored up, this guy could wreck you very quickly. Very quickly. Let me get out of his way. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. All right, we're almost done. Come on. Boom get destroyed and there we go we just got the helmet and we got this awesome axe which can swing like this it doesn't show up in this like view like this view it does but it also i believe we can right click the ground shift right click the ground to create a shock wave Boom, that's so cool. That is so awesome. All of this from just us finding that underground dungeon area. Wow, that map was actually kind of nice. So now that we're back home and well rested, let's check our quest line and see what we get. It says optional, but pff, optional. All right, nether star. We get a nether star again from that? That's crazy. Okay, this right here, we technically have killed it, um, but uh, we're gonna have to find another one eventually. Uh, so maybe that'll be something we do next episode is essentially find that one. And we've almost completed everything, every quest in this entire pack. We have the overworld. We've almost completed everything in the nether. We just haven't killed a wither yet, um, which sounds kind of crazy, right? But a wither is super easy to kill. And then everything in the Twilight Forest. However, I did mention how I didn't know if I really wanted to complete the Twilight Forest in this pack in the first place, simply because I have done the Twilight Forest, and with us using shaders, I would actually have to uninstall Optifine to be able to actually play through the Twilight Forest, because the Twilight Forest is completely broken uh, with the mod Optifine, so you cannot, you could use it, but you're going to have like a Hydra with uh, no heads, um, and it really messes with the, the models and animations and stuff like that, so um, that's, that's one of the reasons why I'm not going to really do it in this pack. Anyways, we do have other things that we can complete, like the nether, and also we need to finish this quest here, and uh, we're almost there. I really wish this pack, by the way, had the cosmetic armor slots where I could, like, put, like, a separate set of armor on there. But anyways, let's let's look at this, watch this. I, I, I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, that is so cool looking, though. This thing is ridiculous. Also, the helmet says it never breaks so uh, i don't think either one of these tools has a durability i don't remember but either way this axe is actually incredibly awesome like the sheer uh attack stuff that it can do like it, it's swinging its arm like this like it almost completely one shots that stuff and then of course this attack which is incredibly powerful and then the fact that you can also just hit things normally it's a pretty cool tool. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, if you did, you know what to do, smack that subscribe button. But I do want to give a huge shout out, though, to the sponsor of today's video. And that is going to go to... Go ahead and get thanks in there. And then William Young, thank you so much for your amazing support over on Patreon, William. I do appreciate it. And guys, of course, if you're interested in becoming a patron yourself, of course, you can find that link down in the description below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.